In this video series, you're going to learn how to modify WordPress themes. What we're going to do is we're going to go through the process of modifying the sidebar, modifying the header, modifying the footer, adding an opt-in form, and changing the colors of a couple of different WordPress themes. Now they all basically have similar elements no matter who created them, so it's pretty easy to find where you need to make the changes. So with that in mind, let's go and have a look for some free WordPress themes to modify. Now I created a test blog and it's not going to really have any content in it. I just did this so that we can monitor our changes as we put the new themes in. Now what we'll do is we'll go to the where we can find some free WordPress themes and you can get them at freewpthemes.net or there are lots of other places where you can get them. Now what I'm going to look for here is I'm going to look for a more standard type of layout like a two column and then we'll use a three column one as well. Okay, so let's just do a preview of this one. And as you can see, we have our sidebar down the one side. So here's an example of a single column. So we will use that one. So we'll just download it to our computer. Now I'm going to go to a different site and download another theme by a different author just so that I can demonstrate that even though different authors wrote each one, there are similarities in them that make it easy to modify WordPress themes. So I'm going to go to a different site here. Okay, so we'll have a look at this one here. Do a preview. I think we want to get a double sidebar one, so we'll skip this one. Let's see if I know two sidebars. Okay, here's an example here. Okay, so we have two sidebars on this one. So we'll go have a look at this one as well. To modify, so we'll just download this one as well. Okay, now that we have those downloaded to our desktop, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upload them to our WordPress blog and activate them. Then we're also going to unzip them on our desktop so that we can modify them. Okay, so the first thing I would do is upload them. And I use cPanel hosting, so I'm going to un upload it and unzip it right on the cPanel. If you don't have a way to unzip it on your host side, you'll have to unzip it and then upload it. So here's what we want to do. We want to first go to our cPanel. Now we'll go to our file manager. And then we have to go to our blog location. Okay, so on this server, everything that is visible on the internet goes within public underscore HTML. So we'll go inside here. And then I put it inside test blog, so we'll go inside here. Now uploading our themes, they go into WP-content and themes. Okay, so this is where we need to upload our theme to. So what we do is click upload files. Then we select them off of our desktop or wherever we downloaded them to and click the upload button. Click upload. And it'll take a couple minutes to get them up onto the server. Okay, and here they are. Now all we do is click on each one. Just click right on the file name. Click extract file content over here. Okay, there's one unzipped. And then unzip the other one. All right, and then we can just click on each one again and delete them. Okay, and now these are all ready to bring up inside WordPress. So if we go to our test blog and go into the admin area by logging in. 
And then if we go to design, you'll see that our two things show up inside here and we can switch to them just by clicking on it. We'll click activate. And if we click view site now, you'll see that our theme has changed. Okay, hit the back button now, and we can switch to this one the same way. Just click on it, click activate, view site, and you'll see that it has changed to this particular theme now. Okay, so we have it uploaded. We are able to switch between them. Now what we're going to do is we're going to actually start some modifications. So our first modification is going to be the sidebar, and we'll do an example on each theme. Okay, the first one we will look at is the widget-like theme. Okay, so let's just bring this up here. And here is our single sidebar that we have on this particular theme. So what we will do now is we will unzip the files that contain the themes on our computer. And then we'll go into the widget-like folder. Okay, and then into the theme folder. And you'll see there are a number of files in here. We have archives, comments, footer, functions, header, image, index, links, page, screenshot, search, search form, sidebar, single, and style. Now each of these files has their own function. Now, as you might expect, the sidebar.php actually controls the sidebar. Now what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be digging into code. But don't worry, you don't have to be a programmer of any sort to be able to do this. All you have to do is be able to determine where things are happening, and it's fairly easy to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to do an open with, and we're going to open it with Notepad. Okay, now as you see, it looks a little bit intimidating right here. Now you'll see right at the top here that it is checking for widgets, and you'll usually see something with some comments about it, but if you don't, all you have to do is look for the string dynamic sidebar. And if you see dynamic sidebar, you know you're dealing with widgets at that point. So what this does is it uses the built-in widgets function to create the sidebar. And let's just show what I mean here. If we go back to our theme here and we go to widgets, we could actually change the look of our theme by adding which widgets we want on the sidebar. Okay, we have sidebar one over here because we have a single sidebar. Now we can determine what we want over there. So if we were to view the site now, it is using the defaults. In other words, the hard-coded areas over here. But if we were to start widgetizing it, say we add pages. Okay, let's just save that change. Now if we go look at our site, that's all that's showing now is pages. Okay, so if we go back now and we remove pages, click edit, click remove, okay, and then it's moved back over to this side. We save the changes. Now we view our site, it goes back to the hard coded way that it was laid out. So that's what I mean by widgets. Okay, now back to our modification here. You needed to have that clear before we went any further. Now, what we're going to want to do, if we're going to want something to appear, whether it's widgetized or whether it's not widgetized, is put our changes right at the top before it checks for dynamic sidebar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some code up here that will show up on our template. Now this could be anything you want, such as an opt-in form, a picture, whatever you want to add to the sidebar, this is where you'd put it. So I'm just going to put in some text up here. 
and just say it's bold. We'll do test text. Okay, so now if we save this and we go back to our cPanel and upload it, We've got to go to public HTML and then test blogs where we installed it, WP content, themes, and then this is the widget like theme. Now we're looking at sidebar. So, what we want to do first, we'll rename the old sidebar on the server just so that we don't ever lose the original. In case you make a mistake, you can always put it back. So, we'll just call this sidebar. A ridge or original or original, whatever you want to call it. Make sure you keep it at .php. We'll rename that. And now we have a backup copy of it. So if we ever mess up, we can always just set it back. Now what we do is we upload our file. Okay, we'll upload that. Now if we go and view the site, and as you can see, there's our change. We added test text here, and there it is. And then if we were to go back and go to our widgetized version, let's say we add pages here. View the site. You'll see that we also have test text. So that's how you can add something to your sidebar. It can be anything, it can be an image, an opt-in form, or whatever you want to put there. Now let's look at reorganizing some stuff on our sidebar. So let's go down, bring our sidebar back up. Now with widgets, there's nothing to do because you can organize it right on the screen. Just to make that clear, we can add whatever we want here. Okay, we got pages. Say calendar, archives, meta, search, recent posts, and tag cloud. Okay, while we run it, we organize this. All we got to do is drag them where we want them. Okay, so just like that. So it's a piece of cake to do that. You don't have to worry about it here. But what we want to do is be able to reorganize if we're not using the widgets. So if the person that's using the theme or you are using the theme and you don't want to use the widgets, but you do want to reorganize the way it looks, uh, this is how you do it by changing the sidebar code. Let's go back, bring up the code here. Actually, I removed all of the widgets here first. Okay, now let's go have a look at this. Now, like you see, in this one, there's an overview here that has been commented out. So you can comment that back in just by taking out this part of the code and the, where this little line is here. And that would open this up and then you'd be able to type something in there. So you, a lot of times you will see code like that. Next here, we have category handling. Now, admittedly, this is a much more complex sidebar than most. Usually you don't see all this kind of code in here. But if you look, you see category here. And this is all handling categories. Next, we have it listing the page titles. Then we have the archives and Here's our meta section down here. So basically, if we want to move them around, all we got to do is change the position of that particular code. Okay, so here you'll see that the list pages has been commented out. So if we want to list the pages again, all we have to do is take out this part. And if we were to save this, now the, it will list the pages that we have along the sidebar. And then 
if we want to list the pages before the categories, we could just cut this, highlight, do a cut, and put it before all of this category stuff. Okay, so what we would do is put it right under this author information here. Okay, so we could paste this here. Make sure that you put these characters around it as well. Like so. And now if we upload that, let's go back and upload it. Make sure we click overwrite. Let's do a view site. Now you'll see that it is listing our pages here because we've moved it here. We've got pages and our about page, which is you can see is the only page we have right now. Then our archives, then our categories, then our blog roll, then our meta. So we can that's how we can move things around. Okay, let's go back and let's move one more thing just to demonstrate. Let's move the archives under the blog roll, or the blog roll above the archives. Okay, so we find our blog roll in here. Okay, and you'll see right here that it has some code. If this is the front page, this is home list bookmarks okay so that's the bookmarks are what we're looking for okay so what we could do is just do a cut and then put this above all the category stuff paste it here save and upload again Okay, now I'll have a look. Do go back to our test blog, do a refresh. Okay, so we've got our pages, then we have our blog roll, then we have our archive. So that's how you can move things around on the sidebar. Okay, so now let's go look at the other theme just to see how similar it is and how you can do the same things on a different theme by a different author. And you'll see that it is easy to do it because all WordPress themes are laid out much the same, even though they're coded different.